a secret location in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Well, do it live. F- it. Do it live. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about us in every kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Find out our telephone number. You got a need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I have an article that I read while I was on vacation in France. It was sent to me by a listener. And don't think that when I go on vacation, I don't read. I do. I still get up every morning. Do you think I wasn't watching the uh, the Lakers and the San Antonio Spurs? I was. If you think I wasn't reading the regular newspapers on the web, I was. And your email, I was. I even updated our uh, MySpace while I was away. And uh, if you've been to our website, blowmeuptom.com, this article, you can uh, see the link and you can read it along with me. In fact, I recommend that some of you read it in advance of the program. So we can have a conversation about it this hour. This is from the Boston Globe, and again, it was sent in by a listener. Here it goes. The name of the article is... Oops. Did I remember to take my pill? The subheadline, by the way, says this. Nearly half of all pregnancies are accidents. They should put quotes around the word accidents. With 3.1 million unintended pregnancies in the United States every year. Unintended should also be in quotes. Here's the story by Carrie Goldberg of the Boston Globe. We had broken up, so I'd gone off the pill, a woman might say. Just this once, we skipped the condom. I was still breastfeeding, so I thought I couldn't get pregnant. Though birth control is widely available, about half of the six million pregnancies in the United States each year are, and again, the quotes are missing here, accidents. Contraception experts have long known that even couples who want to avoid pregnancy can be strikingly lax about actively preventing it. This month, a survey from the Guttmacher Institute, a top think tank on reproductive issues, cast new light on the whys and why nots. Greater awareness of the contraceptive pitfalls, specialists say, may help women use birth control better. It estimated that half, I'm sorry, that of the 50 million sexually active adult American women of childbearing age, 28 million are at risk of unintended pregnancy. The report's principal investigator, Jennifer Frost, said the main problem is what she said. The main problem is that taking a pill every day or using a method every time you have sex is really hard to do for 20 or 30 years. No, it's not. No, it's not. How about writing a check every month for 20 or 30 years? How's that feel? That's hard. Using birth control is easy. says here, is it is especially hard, the survey found, when women dislike their method, are in the midst of breakups or other life changes, 
have problems getting pills or other contraceptive supplies, or, here's the one I love, are not totally sure they want to avoid pregnancy. And again, I believe that's the number one reason this happens. The number one reason is that many women say they want to avoid pregnancy, but they really don't. Says here, conducted in 2004, the survey included 1,978 American women ages 18 to 44 who were sexually active, not sterile, and not pregnant or trying to become pregnant. They were asked about their contraceptive use in the previous year. The survey did not determine how many of the unplanned pregnancies led to births. Though previous Guttmacher research has suggested that 42% ended abortion, 14% in miscarriage, hello, jacuzzi, and the rest in births. The report found that nearly two-fifths of women on the pill miss. Uh, guys, are you hearing this? Oh, my girlfriend said she's on the pill. Listen to this. Nearly two-fifths of women on the pill miss their daily dose at least once in the course of three months, raising their risk of pregnancy. About three-fifths of women who rely on their partners to use condoms reported that a condom was skipped or put on late at least once during the previous three months. Are you hearing this, boys? Jesus says here nearly 4 in 10 women using birth control do not much like their method and such dissatisfaction also significantly raises the risk of pregnancy. It, 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 that's what the survey revealed. About 5% of the women said they used the birth control rep method reliably. But it failed. Possibly because of a break in a condom or rarely pills that don't work allowing them to get pregnant. Birth control providers familiar with the report say that it helps show women that if they fall down on birth control, it is not because they are stupid or lazy. There are complex and powerful factors at work. For pill takers, for example, studies have shown that it is a huge challenge for people without immediate symptoms to take a pill every day, whether it is birth control or blood pressure medication. Again, Making excuses for women who don't take birth control pills. Come on. That might be true for some, but not the majority, or even a plurality. Dr. Catherine O'Connell of Columbia University Medical Center said, Everyone always wants to indict young sexually active women. And this is a behavior that is a human nature problem, which is why we're lucky to have other methods that don't require daily remembering. Well, yes, doctor, we are lucky to have them. How many women are willing to back up one method with another? If you look at how many more single mothers we have today than we had 40 years ago, I think that tells you a lot. We had birth control 40 years ago. Why are there so many more single mothers around? And that is because women see no stigma in being single mothers, and therefore they're not as careful about using their birth control. Says here, researchers are looking into various methods to prompt regular pill taking, such as text messages on a woman's cell phone every morning. Yeah, right. Another persistent challenge providers say is that societal attitudes about sex often make women who are not in steady relationships reluctant to prepare in advance for possible sexual encounters for fear that will make them seem promiscuous. Hello, we're hoping you are promiscuous. That's not a bad thing, that's a good thing. My goodness, when I meet you, I hope you're a slut. Why would you be embarrassed to appear to be promiscuous? Says here Dr. Moira Cunningham routinely advises her female patients to buy their own condoms and to keep a supply of Plan B, the emergency morning after pill, at home. By the way, girls, did you know you can get it without a prescription at the drugstore? Did you even care? Probably not. 
when physicians discuss birth control, she said they must be non-judgmental. Cunningham, who was chief of the internal medical practice at the Copley office of Harvard Vanguard Medical Associates, said, the way I explain it to my patients is, Mother Nature wants the species to survive. So all of us are hardwired for sex, and that's what you're up against. It's not about being a good person or a bad person. The article says yet another barrier is trouble gaining access to birth control, whether because of costs, insurance changes, or logistical problems getting to the doctor for a new prescription or method. Here's a word of advice. Until you can get a method, keep your pants on, ladies. How about that? Well, I didn't have time to get to the doctor. Yeah, well, fine. How about you just uh, but you put a cork in it until you get down there? A vibrating cork, maybe, but put a cork in it. Dr. Elisa Goldberg of Planned Parenthood said, A fairly common scenario is that patients take their pills and then their prescription runs out. They just can't get in on time or they have a gap. Eventually they come back, but maybe they come back pregnant. How stupid is that? says here, according to the Gutmacher report, more than half of women who have a risky gap of at least one month in using birth control are in the midst of, quote, an important life event. Whether a job change, a move, a breakup, a new love, or some kind of crisis. Why would a new love cause you to have a gap in birth control? Because you wanted him to knock you up? Like, wouldn't that be a time to be... Taking birth control? You just found some hot new guy and you want him to nail you? Wouldn't that be a good time to head on down to the drugstore, ladies? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Says here that Cunningham said that she encourages patients in that situation to simply call her office and ask for a so-called bridge prescription to tide them over until they can come in. But many practices do not offer that option. Karen Capone, a nurse practitioner at the Worcester Health Center of Planned Parenthood for 22 years, said that faulty birth control practices also stem from myth and misinformation. A classic myth she has fought for years, she said, quote, is that you can only stay on the pill for two years and then you have to come off it. Your body needs a rest. It doesn't need a rest, she says. She tells her parents, call me. If you have any questions, please call us. Providers mention a variety of other myths that they encounter, that you cannot get pregnant over 40. <laughs> just look at that, uh, just look at that bag of, uh, that old bag Madonna. And those other old bags on Entertainment Tonight who get knocked up. Jesus. <laughs> and uh, the other myths are that you can't get pregnant during your period. You know, women have tried to tell me that one when they try to get me not to use a condom. Yeah. Or you can't get pregnant in a first sexual encounter. Yet a trickier problem is the ambivalence many women feel about possible pregnancy. Here we go. The, the, this is what they call in the newspaper business burying the lead because this is the reason this happens. This is the reason. Says here, yet a trickier problem is the ambivalence many women feel about possible pregnancy. The Gutmacher study found that women who said they were trying to avoid pregnancy but would not mind if they had a baby were far less likely to use birth control reliably. <laughs> That has no easy fix, doctor said. In the course of a 15-minute visit, it is hard enough to do basic counseling about methods without getting into a patient's hopes and dreams. But they did caution about, I'm sorry, they did caution that planned pregnancies tend to do best because mothers who are, quote, trying can take better care of themselves, such as avoiding alcohol and taking prenatal vitamins to prevent certain birth defects. Given all the, quote, human error problems with pills and condoms, some providers say they encourage patients to give added consideration to longer-term methods. The IUD, which could stay in for up to five years and has recently been approved even for women who have not yet born children. The Nuva Ring, which stays in the vagina for three weeks. And hormonal implants such as 
implana that lasts three years. They take the requirement to do something out of the patient's hands, which for most people is a good thing, Goldberg said. And there you go. And then they give a list of things you can do to better protect yourself. And you can see this article on our website. Go to blowmeuptom.com. It will link you right through to the article at the Boston Globe. You can read it for yourself. But once again, uh, I do think that uh, the, the, the people who write articles like this, the news media, the, the women out there who are interviewed for such articles, they're overlooking one important thing. Women have total control over whether a baby is born. And women know how to do things every day if they need to. They know how to call their best friend or their mother every day. They know to walk the dog every day. I mean, ever been with a woman who uh, doesn't want to be home at 9 o'clock to walk, feed, water, or keep the company of their dog or cat? They're able to do that every day. Especially when you want to spend time with them, it's very important they get home and see the cat or the dog, yes? Amazing how taking the pill every day, well, that's just too darn difficult. Women who are not on birth control want to have a baby. I've said it for years. Why are the news media making excuses for women who don't use birth control? It's very simple. Women who are not on birth control want to have a baby. It's still true, isn't it? Tom Likas. Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Guys don't need to be in relationships. They don't. Some guys do. Some guys do. Yeah. Blind guys. <laughs> you know, I imagine Stevie Wonder needs someone to dress him every day. I understand. It's the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> It's not like a show. I am back from a two-week vacation to France. And I will be here all summer. I got it out of the way early this year. So here we are at one 800 5 800 Tom Kevin on the yes, Tom Like His Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm great. I uh, was calling in regards to the birth control uh, as far as females taking it. And if they don't take it, they obviously want to get pregnant. Well, first of all, stop with the phrase or the take it, taking it or take it. All forms of birth control are not taken. Some okay. are worn. Okay. Well, I, I'm ta I'm calling in regards to pretty much the pill form. Well, well I, my point that I made was if a woman is not on birth control, she wants to have a baby. Okay. And nothing you're going to say now is going to uh, prove that wrong. Well, actually, yes, there is. Well, no, it's not. Um, no, Some it's not. Females, no, it's not. Some females have side effects, though. No, no. What, no, no. For what? Side effects for what? Well, let's say, uh, okay, the pill, obviously, but there are surgical procedures. They may have medical reasons for not being able to... What about the have. other forms of birth control? As in... Don't you know what they are? Are you an adult? Yes, I am, sir. To do, name the other forms of birth control for me, then, if you're an adult and you're a sexually active and a responsible person. Name the other forms of female birth control. I'm listening. Okay, well, there's the pill, obviously. There is the tubes being tied, obviously. No, no, we're talking not, not sterilization, birth control. Just regular birth control. Right. Okay, um, you said that there was an actual hormonal form of birth control that they can get. You don't know the answer to that question, do you? There we go. And that is the problem right there. That's the problem right there. Because some of you little boys out there who are having sex with your girlfriends don't even bother to learn about what forms of birth control are available, and you believe those little bitches when they tell you they can't be on birth control because they're allergic to it. You cannot possibly be allergic to all of the forms of birth control. It's impossible. It's impossible. And if you don't believe it, how about you just head over to PlannedParenthood.org and learn about what forms of birth control are available, you little babies, you little idiots. Like him. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. April on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, April. 
Hey, I was wondering if you ever um, thought about that women that don't take birth control may not be getting it on a consistent basis. It do, that doesn't matter uh, because if you're getting it on an inconsistent basis, then it's too late to get on birth control. Well, why would I take birth control daily when I may only get it once You don't a have month? to be on the pill, dear. There's other forms of birth control. And the fact is that if you meet some guy and you decide to do something spontaneous, you will not be on birth control. That's why. Right, but that's why there's condoms. And that's and my point. You do it. Condoms are condoms are not as effective as the pill and other forms of female birth control. It's not. It's maybe like one percent less least effective. I, no, like, no, it's it's more like four percent difference. It's like a, it's like pill is ninety nine point two percent and the condom is like ninety five percent. That's a big difference. If you have sex a hundred times, you'd get oh. pregnant four more times. 95% is good for somebody that gets it maybe once a month. Again, it doesn't matter. It only takes once to get pregnant. And, and by saying this, you are proving my point. You don't care if you do get pregnant. It's okay with you. No, that is totally incorrect because I'm always making sure that the guy has got a condom. It doesn't matter. The condom is not completely effective. Have you never, have you never, ever, again, you it must be limited experience. Have you never had a condom fall off, slip off, slide off? Have you ever had to fish a condom out of you? Have you ever had a condom break, crack? If you haven't, your experience is limited. Now, I've had a condom bust or break. Well, what about me. that? be effective all the time, Tom. But that's not the point. That. The point is the condom is a backup method. It is not a primary method of birth control. It's not. Okay, well, I'm not familiar you with You don't I'm mind. If you got pregnant, you'd have the baby. You wouldn't have an abortion. You would have the baby. You wouldn't mind having a baby if it happened. That's not true. I it is true. Don't, I definitely don't want a baby. However, I'm not willing to take the pill on a daily basis. Why not? Getting it on a daily. If I had a boyfriend, I was getting a gift. What does that have to do with anything? What I'm does that have to do not, with anything? I'm not getting it all the time. Uh, yeah, again, the, the reason is because you wouldn't mind if you got... Would you have an abortion? Yes or no? Uh, yes or no? I, I yes or no? I, yes or no? I can't make that decision. That's no. my point. You can't answer the question because the answer is no. And I can't answer that. If it was somebody, maybe I didn't want to have their child, then no, I probably would But that's my point. What, what if you wouldn't mind having some guy's kid and he has no interest in having a kid, he just wants to nail you? <laughs> You'd be okay with that. And that's my point. That's why guys have to look out for women like you who don't use birth control. You are a red flag. <laughs> oh, my God. So what do you suggest that they do when they come Run. to women like Run. 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 If they come in contact with you or women like you, guys should run. When they come in contact with me, they can use a condom or they can move on. Again, and I, I would run not because, I, by the way, I use a condom 100% of the time, not 99%, not 96%. I use a condom 100% of the time. But if a woman says to me she doesn't use birth control, I run. And by so the way, well, the proof... Run? Uh, the condom. proof is in the pudding. I, I've made it to 51 years old, and I don't have any unwanted little babies or bastard children running around. <laughs> Tom, you wouldn't run. You would get in that. You nope. Would get it. I, darling, uh, I could have a conference at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum of the women. I have gotten up, put my pants on, and walked out of the room without doing anything because I found out they, they did not use birth control. You would be amazed. It is not by accident that somebody makes it to this age being as sexually active as I have without having illegitimate children. I, 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 don't, I don't believe you, Tom. I think that... Oh, don't believe me. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let us say hello to Taryn on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Taryn. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm good. I'm just calling because I completely agree with you. I've been on the pill for almost 13 years now and never gotten pregnant and been sexually active, and it's just not that hard to take a pill every morning. No. It's just not. So I just wanted to, you know, put that out there to all the women that feel that they can't remember to take a pill in the morning. It's not that hard. Yeah, they can remember to nag their husband every day or their boyfriend. Uh, they can remember to uh, feed Fluffy the cat every morning. 
Yeah, exactly. So, you know, just be responsible at what you're doing and take your pill. That's exactly right. All right. Just had to agree with you. Sometimes I don't. So today I just wanted to give you a shout out and say thank you for bringing that to everyone's attention because I agree with you completely. So. Hey, thank you, Taryn. Like it. Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Like it. 1-800-5800-866. I've been listening to you since I was four years old. You're like a third parent to me. It's the Tom Like It Show. Like a show coming to you from Hollywood, California. That's where we are. I can't tell you which movie studio we're at. All I can tell you is we're not having a backyard barbecue. So you figure it out. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. And uh, we started off this hour talking about a piece in the Boston Globe called Oops. Did I remember to take my pill? Justin, listening to us on the online stream from Oak Harbor, Washington, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Howdy, Tom. Hey. Uh, first, let me say that there's only one form of birth control that a man ought to be concerned about, and it comes in latex, lambskin, and polyurethane. Because everything else, that's just stuff to the chick, and you can't do anything about that. But... I, th- I think uh, I think you're right on about uh, chicks not using birth control, wanting to have babies, and I think my girlfriend is must be Exhibit A uh, because she's pregnant. Uh, she used the uh, she used the old lines, you know. The I'm allergic to latex, so you know I busted out the polyurethane condoms, and then she came up with another excuse: the uh, the pill, you know, makes me bloated, makes me get bloated, you know. So right. I went with that, but. Th- I'm not at all concerned about the pregnancy because I know it's not mine <laughs> because I had a vasectomy in 2004 <laughs> and every year, every year I go back and get my sperm count rechecked. So <laughs> unless, unless my tubes have reconnected themselves, you know, since December, <laughs> does she, I'm in the does she, wait, does she know that? No, I, I found out that she was pregnant last month. How did you find out? Well, she told me that she was pregnant. And what did you tell her? Oh, well, I told, well what happened was I'd come, home, I'd come home from lunch, and she was sitting outside my apartment. And that's, you know, it, it's not normal because she knows that I don't have that much time for lunch. And, she you know, she busts out the whole, we need to talk. So I go in there, and I make myself a sandwich, and I put it in a bag, you know, get ready to go. And she's just sitting on my couch, and she goes, I'm pregnant. I mean, just just like that, I'm pregnant. I mean, she didn't sound too thrilled about it, but I I figured, you know, since I already had a vasectomy, I you know, I didn't freak out. Like the first thing that pops through my mind is like, great, because now I can <laughs> now I can basically screw her life up. <laughs> I, I thought about I thought about basically telling her and you know trying to use the old uh, hot tub and the red wine trick, but. You know, because I, I, I was thinking at first about the life the kid would have to leave because she's, I mean, she's nothing special. She's not a, she's not any kind of prof- professional or anything. She doesn't make any money. Uh, I don't know what kind of loser she, you know, cheated on me with to get pregnant, but that's not, I mean, as of yet, that's not my concern. I, I still have to go to a lawyer to find out what kind of liabilities I might have, if anything, for uh, trying to convince her, you know, basically trying to convince her to go along with the pregnancy. But as of now, I mean, I'm, I'm playing the boyfriend role. Uh, I've gotten rid of uh, everybody else. Uh, I haven't paid for anything yet. I don't have insurance. So it's not like, you know, she's getting putting on my insurance or anything. We haven't talked about the child support or anything. So at, at this point, I'm just, I'm just playing it cool, just trying to keep her from freaking out. Wow. Until the, ver- until the very last moment. <laughs> till the end of the second trimester? Well, that, that's basically it, and that, that's about when I'm probably probably going to lay it on her. You know, hey, look, uh, I've been fixed, you know, for, you know, close to four years now, so. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, I, I definitely thought you'd enjoy that. I mean, I, I, mean I, I, knew, I knew from an early age I didn't want kids. I didn't belong having kids. Uh, I grew up in a screwed-up family. I'm kind of screwed up myself. Uh, so I, I went ahead, and I, I did some research, and, it cost me 1300 bucks to get the vasectomy. I had it done uh, down in a place in Issaquah. 
uh, it's down by Seattle. Uh, but it, it's been worth it because now I can bang, you know, anything and everything that moves. I still use condoms, of course, you know, to keep me from getting, uh, uh, you know, anything that you can, you know, get, you know, wash away with some Ajax or something. But it's been, uh, it's been, it's been a lifesaver for me. Wow. And th- th- this bitch, I mean, <laughs> this, this bitch has it coming. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't wait for that day when I just lay it on her. I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to find a way. Uh, you know, an effective, like, the best way to lay it on her, like, somewhere in public. Uh, I think it's probably, probably like, maybe the, maybe the Space Needle or something. Maybe you need to have her have a, a baby shower, like a premature baby shower. Maybe. Well, I mean, well, I, mean I, I have to find out what the lawyer says first. I mean, I don't want to get too involved. Right. Because, uh, I mean, that, you know, this is Washington State. I mean, I mean, hell, I mean, I'm, I'm only a boyfriend. I mean, some judge might say, hey, you're the boyfriend, so tag your it. Maybe you need to do it during a Mariners game. Oh, oh, that'd be oh my god! You know, I think that might, <laughs> I think that might be worth it. Uh, I, I mean, I, imagine I having her on the imagine having her on the jumbotron there at Safeco Field, and then break out the uh, break out the uh, results of my uh, sperm test. Yeah, you just have like a little sign. It looks like you're getting down on your knee to propose to her, and instead, oh. with the camera on you, pull out a sign going, uh, "I had a vasectomy." <laughs> Oh my God, Tom! That is brilliant. That is why you are the man. But I, I definitely thought you'd enjoy that, Tom. Uh, if you could, uh, let me see here. If you could take me out Enum Claw style. You know, we haven't been doing that because, uh, among other things, I think it didn't make it through the transition over from our other studio. But thank you, thank you for that. Good luck. I love it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Holly on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Holly. Are you there? Holly. Hello? Yes. Hi. 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 So I was cons- I was wondering what rates you're actually looking at. Are you looking when you're saying that condoms are less effective than birth control? Are you looking at actual failure rates or are you looking at if it's taken perfectly 100% of the time? I'm looking at actual failure rates. Because I believe that I've done my research on it and the actual failure rates of birth control is actually lower than condoms. So condoms work more effectively no, when you use them. No, no, I've done research on this. I've had guests on the show talk about this subject. Uh, years ago, I had Planned Parenthood on almost as a regular guest, and uh, that is the deal. Uh, by the way, I wouldn't yeah. care if condoms are 99.9% effective. Any woman who doesn't take birth control wants to have a baby. That's it. If she's not on some form of birth control, it's because she wants to have Oh, baby. Yeah, not that she's actively trying to get pregnant, but that she wants to be able to say, well, I was, yeah, I did, wasn't intending to have a baby, but one thing led to another, and suddenly I was pregnant. And, and because have you, have you ever taken any kind of hormonal um, steroids? Again, not like every form of birth control re- requires you to uh, ingest uh, any, and by the way, uh, any kind of hormones. Well, okay, so there's that eruption, or you can do spermicides or whatever. But spermicides, if you look, they actually do cause urinary tract infections again, in women. Again, there's a million forms of, of birth control. Just in this article alone, it mentions uh, uh, it mentions forms of birth control even I was not familiar with, and I've done a lot of reading on this subject. I, I definitely agree, but there are side effects for each Really? What, what are these side effects to the Nuva Ring? Tell us what the, specifically what the well, side effects... The Nuva effect- Ring is also, I believe, it's also a hormone. So you don't know for sure, and therefore now you're going to pull something out of your ass and make no, up an answer to my I'm question. I'm pretty sure. You're pretty, sure, sure, pretty sure is not, no, not itself. good enough. Not good enough. So do you know? I just do said you know? that I don't, but neither do you. But I believe the point is, up, the I point is, the there are so many forms of birth control for women that if a woman is not using one of them, it's because she wants to have a baby. I definitely disagree. I mean, as a I'll woman, go right I know, ahead. I know that I have taken different forms. I still have not met women who are not on birth control who can tell me point blank that if they got knocked up, they'd have an abortion. I haven't met one. Well, okay, maybe that's true, but there are women... That that means that if they got pregnant, it would be okay with them. I I definitely disagree. Well, you can disagree all you like, but you just admitted yourself. But I think that it's a fair disagreement because I am a woman, as you are not. Are you on birth control? Yes. 
That, then why are you making excuses for those who aren't? You well, don't want to have a baby. It. No, I'm only on it because I have to be, not because I want to what be. What do you mean you have to be? Well, because it, it regulates my, my hormones. Why do you need your hormones regulated? Um, because I have a disorder that causes them to be irregular. So you'd like to have a baby, but you have to use a birth control pill. No, I disagree. I really dislike the way that it makes me feel, but in order to be healthy, I have to take it. You like the way what makes you feel? I dislike the way that it makes me feel. Aha. Uh -huh. To be healthy, I decide to take it. I see. So, there right. you go. So, if you got pregnant by accident, what would you do? Um, I mean, if I wasn't married, I would definitely get an abortion. What does being married have to do with it? Well, because it's, it's very different. One of the four abortions, one of the four abortions I paid for was somebody I was married to. Well, if you're married, why would you not? I don't want to have children. So then why don't you get sterilized? Again, it's it's irrelevant. The point is, if somebody... It's, it's your choice, right? Oh, it's definitely my choice. Yes, but but, but the, there's it. a difference between my choice and your choice. Uh, because you, your choice. you have many more choices than I have. Okay. I Among them, if I there. accidentally impregnate you, you have a choice I don't have. Okay, I, I agree. To some extent. Not to some extent. It's a fact. <laughs> well, yes, but... Let me ask you, we'll, we're going to make it a fact right now. If yeah. you get pregnant, can I make you have an abortion? No, you cannot. But the, so that's a choice you can make, whether or not to have an abortion, correct? Agreed. That's a choice I can't make, whether or not you have an abortion. That is true. So therefore, it's a fact that you have more choices than I do. Yes. No, 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 don't don't be reluctant about it. Uh, let's have a good, hearty, yes, you're right, Tom. Yes, that's true, Tom. Yes, Tom, you just proved your point, Tom. It is true that you could get sterilized, therefore she wouldn't... No, no, but so could you. So could you. But that's a choice. So the I fact is, but the I point is, you something. have one more choice than I will ever have. But you should just do it if you don't want to have Again, it. Again, what I do personally is not what this show is about. We're talking about people in general. But then again, what don't they, start turning this into a conversation about what I could do because it has nothing to do with what I do. I, but then it's their choice, and that doesn't mean that they. I know it's not because there are people who don't want to have children at nineteen or twenty-three or twenty-five or twenty-seven that may want to have them at thirty-two or forty-two. They should prepare for that. What do you mean they should prepare for that? They should do something about yes, it. Yes, if you yes, and I'm telling the men what to do. If you meet a woman who is not on birth control, run the other way. Head for the hills. All right. Well, I gotta go. Yes, good idea. Because you're overmatched. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Maria on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I just want to say first that I love you. I absolutely love you. Is that so? <laughs> and, um, and I agree with you 100%. Um, when women make excuses like, I don't want to go on birth control because I'm going to get fat, or I don't want to go on birth control, and they put reasons for it, it's because they want to get pregnant. I completely agree with you. And I don't understand the logic behind it because the side effects of a child are always going to be way more than the side effects of birth control. By the way, my experience, every woman who says she's afraid to go on birth control because she's going to get fat, she already is fat. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's, she's afraid she's going to become more fat. And I've been on birth control for like 10 years, and I haven't gained a pound because of it, so I don't understand the women's logic behind it. It's total nonsense. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. I love you. By the way, nothing makes you fat more than pregnancy girls. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Bye, Tom. See you later, Maria. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, <laughs> Brian. You didn't believe that one, did you? Brian, you didn't believe that one, did you? Oh, uh, no, nah, nah. The one you're about to tell me. You didn't believe it when she said what you're about to tell us, did you? Oh, no, never, never. What did she tell you? Uh, well, oh, geez, Make it, it fast. It all started like this. Oh, no, no, I have no time for it all start like this. Say it fast. Uh, okay. Uh, you're never going to say it. Okay? Thank you. The Tom Likas Show.